I couldn't even remember. All I know is uh, <coughs> got the rebound running down on, you know, uh, offensive transition and uh, pushed off, felt a little uh, pop, you know, hurt as well. And then, uh, ran down and then that's when Trey made that ridiculous layup and then uh, ran back down on defense and remember coach was telling me get up on the on the uh, ball screen or whatever and uh, I was like trying to get back to him I'm like coach I'm tired I can't move as much and you know we'll go to the rebound and then I told him and you know, just call the timeout. So you knew you knew you had a pretty significant injury at that time. Oh yeah, I you know I just kind of knew that something was messed up, and uh, just trying to continue playing with it. Usually, I play through all my pain and just you know keep grinding through it. But then this time, I just you know something told me to stop. It might be something serious, and you don't want to make it any worse. So they X-rayed you back here and and told you that you had broken your foot. Yeah, definitely. I mean. As they were x-raying it, you know, I was just saying positive to myself and everything. And, uh, you know, they told me, your foot is broke. And I was like, okay. So are you in a coaching role? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be anywhere further than the team. I'm always going to be here. Uh, they know that as much as all the coaches. And, uh, you know, right now, the focus is not on me. The focus is on, you know, the next game that's coming up and uh, how we're going, you know, start do you know when you're going to get that the screw in your foot? I mean, uh, I'm not really sure. They said something about tomorrow, but I guess it depends on the operating room. Or, or, you know, things like this happening, you know, in our game of sports. So you know, we just got to take it positively and just move on. This is a you guys have talked for months now, for at least the last couple of weeks, that defensive communication is an issue, and you're the main guy that is good at yeah, is good at that. Do you, are you, I mean, are you worried at all if you're not on the floor, how you guys, how the younger guys will kind of carry that flag while you're out? No, I'm not worried at all. Uh, you know, we got one of the best coaches you know, in, the, in the game right now. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure once they listen to him like I did when I was a freshman, like, you know, it's just going to come to them naturally. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, today they did a great job, with, you know, doing uh, first half, of just talking and just helping each other out. Uh, you know, Coach so uh, a huge, uh, you know, progress in our defense and, you know, just uh, how excited it was and just to see them so excited and everybody was like, let's keep it up. So, you know, it doesn't really matter if, you know, if I go down like I did today, you know, Nando was always going to be that back man that's, you know, going to let everybody know what to do. And next thing you know, you know, Anas is going to be back as well. And, uh, you know, we're going to have some pretty good people that, you know, that are going to get everybody talking. Mango, you seem like a guy since you've been here who's never had trouble staying positive about things. Is, is this going to be a little bit different knowing that you're not going to be able to be out there playing? Is it going to be tough to stay positive? I mean, it's going to be tough, but, you know, I set out my freshman year, you know, when it showed it wasn't nothing like this, but, you know, I set out and, you know, I had to stay positive on that. And um, my, at the end of my senior year, I kind of broke my, you know, my TV as well. So it's just something that I have. Uh, you know, experience and you know, just you know, staying positive. Uh, you know, things happen for a reason, and uh, even if it's something negative as it is right now, you just stay positive, stay with it, stay grinding. Uh, you know, like Trey said, the cream is always going to come back to the top. And, you know, something great is going to come out of it. What happened?